Hey guys, it's been a long time, man. So, I was just testing the deflection angle on this here stick. And I want to show you what I've been working on. I think that's the angle right there. So, what we have here is... Um, a brand new setup for the micro stick that I've been working on. Um, so historically, I've just desoldered the switches on the PCB inside the orb and glued the bottom of the stick directly to that, which technically works. I've done several mods that way. And uh, it works, and it seems to be robust, but it can be improved. Some of the main issues with that method is the difficulty in centering the stick inside of the orb hole, the orb weaver thumb module hole thingy, and actually getting it to adhere properly, and it being a consistent height, so on and so forth, because you're just freehanding you're just freehanding the glue and you're freehanding placing it and it takes a few attempts and you gotta mark it with sharpies and blah blah blah. It's a pain in the butt. It can be done, but it's messy. So here I've got a cup. This cup, this guy, will fit down inside of the war weaver hole once the original D pad has been removed. You still have to desolder the switches. And then um on the bottom here. This is the PCB layout for the micro stick base. I used the manufacturer's um, PCB layout diagram to get the spacing and the hole sizes correct. And I've got um, all this on order to prototype it and test it and make sure I did the dimensions correct. But if everything's right, this cup should slip right down to the hole and rest perfectly. Um, and I can run some glue under this lip here and on these bottom edges here, and that will just keep it in place. And then the uh, micro stick itself, the uh, through hole legs will come through here uh, with, uh, I'll probably push the wires up through the holes, solder it while it's outside and then pull the wires down and then glue it to the bottom here so that these holes in layout will force this to be centered inside the cup and the cup will be centered inside the hole. So hopefully the work of getting all of this centered will become nil. Uh, we'll see. Again, I've got all this on order. I'm going to prototype it. We're going to see. And then new hats. Um, this is the domed one. The first customer asked for domed. So if this all this works out, I will make another one with a dimpled top and here this is another important piece here I this is the manufacturer for the stick says that the maximum deflection angle for the stick is 55 degrees so this is at 50 and I want to stop it at 50 I don't want you to be able to max out that stick deflection that will damage the stick so we're gonna stop it at 50 degrees um, and uh, this was just me right here testing to make sure that um, it was all lined up. So we're just going to align these things here really quick so we can see, make it invisible. We want 50 degrees because that's what the post is at, 50 degrees. And then we got to eyeball this right here. Oh, let's bring the scale down. So, this is how it's going to be a little deeper. That's actually perfect right there. So, the goal here, there are a few goals with this design. I wanted a skirt, which we've, which we've got. Thank you, Windows Defender. I appreciate it. We've got a skirt. Um, what that does is that keeps dirt and dust and such out of the stick mechanism, which we want. That's important. 
I want the neck of the collar of this stick hat to physically stop you from moving the stick too far in one direction. So, and that's that's going to happen if my measurements are right, is this stick right here is going to hit the, the, the side of the cup, and it's going to stop you from moving the stick past 50 degrees, which is good. I want that. Um, the top of the hat clears this. That's good. The stick stick skirt the skirt does not appear to be impacting the stick body or the interior of the cup which is important you don't want it to rub on the inside and cause friction while you're moving around it looks, the, uh, it looks like the tolerances are very tight but it looks good and again this is all prototype I'm going to test this when the parts come in they are on order from Shapeways as we speak and then um, I've got uh, channels to run the wires through. So the the wires from the Teensy are going to come from there or there or there or there into the bottom of the stick cup, which um, soldered onto the legs of the stick itself. That way um, I don't have any wires being pinched which currently they are. Not that that's that big of a deal. I mean, it's copper, and we're talking about things that weigh a serious, insignificant amount. So it's not really that much of a problem right now, but it's I'm just trying to improve this design overall, and I think this achieves a few design goals. Well, actually, this achieves all the design goals that I set out for my initial uh, round of improvements. And... Um, if this all works out, then I will clean it up and put it on the Shapeway store in different colors and with a dimpled stick hat for you guys to uh, mod your own orbs with. And uh, then I'll move on and we will think about some more improvements. But I think that if this works, which even if it's not perfect, I can take a Dremel to it and clean it up for this customer and then make small tweaks for future prints so I think it's all going to be good and we'll have a more robust easy to do mod and um, I was afraid this cup was going to be expensive it's not together this stick and this cup are just a few dollars more than the previous stick was so it's not that bad I was expecting, or I was afraid it was going to be um, a lot more because Shapeways tends to charge for um, volume of plastic, which is to be expected for a 3D printing shop. Anyways, I just wanted to show this off um, just to give an update on this mod since it's been a while and also for um, the customer that I have right now who's kind of the guinea pig for this. Um, he's having to bite the bullet, so to speak, for everybody else and wait on me to um, perfect this process. Um, obviously, him being the first, all the future mods will be a lot faster since I don't have to do this design and I can order from Shapeways as soon as um, I get your information. So, yeah, thanks to him who shall remain nameless. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy that. I enjoy it. I like just like looking at it. When you get all the pieces. Let me just show you this. Let me just show you what I go through to make all this stuff work. So here is, I've got two different work, workspaces. So first I modeled the, um, the stick itself against these specs. This is the, from the manufacturer of this micro stick. I used this bottom through hole because we I, I buy you through through hole style sticks. So I used these dimensions all in millimeters or centimeters actually is what is what that is. And um, modeled the PCB layout. Really, this was the king right there. And actually, that because it's got the center post. Um, and then I placed it after disassembling this orb weaver and getting the dimensions hopefully correct of the uh, uh, d-pad hole uh, as well as the height from the top of the PCB to the bottom of that enclosure and then came up with this cup design 
and then you copy and paste these guys around and get it centered inside of here to get the holes in the bottom and then do a bunch of measurements and trial and error. It took me th about 30 um, iterations of this stick hat to get it to where it would clear all the walls and give me the clearance and the stopping point that I wanted and be tall enough and not too short. It takes, <laughs> it takes a lot like, Oh, it's, Oh, it's hitting that wall. I got to tweak the width of this skirt by half a millimeter. Yeah. Mm -hmm, a bunch. So that's all of the uh, creative, I don't know, thinking engineering design that goes into these things. I know that the end result doesn't look like a whole lot, but there's a, a fairly significant amount of work and thinking and tinkering that goes into making this stuff come out. So just to give you an idea of, um, of what, of the amount of design that's behind this. And, uh, I like to look back on my first mods and then uh, compare it to where I am now at some of the sophistication that I've got available and some of the just raw, like, um, engineering that I've got going on with some of this stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I'll stop rambling. I've been rambling for a little while. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, good luck on your mods. Catch you later.